guys today I'm gonna be trying a Gari makeup it's kind of like the Japanese clean girl makeup but I feel like our clean girl makeup is a lot more bronzy and this one focuses more on like pinks and peaches I'm just gonna start by clipping my hair back I've been seeing it all over TikTok and it always just looks so glowy and pretty and I just wanted to try it out I'm gonna start by prepping my skin this is the serum that I've been using all the time for every day it's the wrinkle supreme serum by the skin house oh my god I hate the feeling when you put serum or lotion on your face and it's so cold and I'm gonna be using this sunscreen this is the Tacobo cotton soft sunstick I've been using this a lot this is all I have left in this one usually I feel like sunscreen sticks just sit on top of the skin and kind of make your makeup slide off underneath but this one doesn't as much it's definitely like a lot more of a matte finish I'm gonna take this color corrector the skin food salmon dark circle concealer I like to use it around my mouth too Next for foundation, I'm going to be using this Misha BB cream in number 21. But I'm also going to mix it with this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation because I am quite tan right now. I'm not my usual shade, so I need to darken it up a little bit. I'm just going to mix it on my hand. I think I did way too much, but that's okay. I don't own any eyelash curlers because I had like a really bad experience in high school when I tried it for the first time it just pinched like I tried one of my friends and it pinched my skin so bad that I never bought one for myself after that but now I'm thinking I should try it because it just because when you curl your lashes it makes your eyes look so so much bigger But I'm just, I'm just curious because I've heard the Shiseido one is really good. It's kind of like the gold standard of all um, eyelash curlers. But don't like, I would, I would think I'm probably wrong, but I would think that the cheaper ones would just do the same thing too. Like, what's the difference? I don't understand. But yeah, my point is. I don't know if I should just buy a cheap one and try that out first or if I should just go for the Shiseido one because I would actually see like a difference I love this BB cream, it makes your skin look flawless look how good it looks which one is that? why? because I'll steal it you have it, I gave it to you oh that one the Misha my base is so nice I love it now I'm gonna do my concealer I'm gonna be using this elf concealer and I'm going to lightly set it with this L'Oreal powder only around the eyes though I'm not sitting anywhere else my old mascara kind of smudged off there mm, but that's okay it'll get covered up by the blush and stuff so it's fine I'm gonna take the Tuklo for school contour and just contour real quick around my nose my eyes 
my face and my lips. And I'm just gonna take a bigger brush for my face. I'm also going to take the same contour and just use that to fill in my eyebrows. I love filling my eyebrows in this way. Honestly, it's so easy. And who even notices your eyebrows? If they're not perfect, they're not perfect. It's okay. Now I'm going to take my blush and I'm going to be using this Unleashia blush in number one. I love this blush, but I wish they had a version- oh my god. Also, does this happen to everyone's plastic packaging? Like, this part always breaks off. The lid always breaks off, no matter what. And it's so frustrating. And this is a thick plastic too, so I don't know how I managed to do that. That's fine. I love this blush. I just wish they had a version without the sparkle. Because it's just not my favorite. It kind of like crumbles off, but the blush is so pretty that it's it makes up for it. In most of the looks I've seen, the blush is more focused on the under eye area. Ooh. And then they bring it up to the lid as well. I wanted to take a bit of this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade close to you, just for my eyelid area. It's so pretty. Such a pretty pink color. Look at that. I love ColourPop. It's one of my favorite makeup brands. I wish we had ColourPop stores, or at least like stores that carried ColourPop here in Canada like they do in the US. Cause I got this. I got these from Ulta. I love Ulta. I wish we had Ulta. I'm now gonna take my highlighter that I use for every single makeup look. I'm gonna put it in my inner corner but also drag it down underneath. looks so dewy. I'm now going to take the brown shadow from this palette. I got this off Amazon. It's kind of like a dupe for the Romand palettes. You can take any brown eyeshadow. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to be using this and just draw a line underneath the eye. I'm using a paintbrush for this. I'm also going to use that to draw a wing. I've been watching Alice in Borderland recently and I'm super late to the game but so far I love it. I'm on season 2 now and I am already excited for season 3 to come out. I heard it's coming out in December, which sucks. I wish it came out sooner. People were saying that it's kind of like similar to Squid Games and it's kind of like a similar premise. But I feel like it's kind of... I feel like it is very different. It's like, yeah, you're playing games to survive, but they're actually like... Like, they don't have a choice on like Squid Games. And I definitely do like it better than Squid Games too. I think this one I'd watch again, but Squid Games I think that was a one-time watch for me. I'm just gonna take these clips out. Yes! Now I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I've also heard that Asian mascaras are a lot better. 
at holding a curl and just making your lashes look really good all day so I kind of want to try one but I don't know which one now for my lips I'm going to use this Roman lip tint in Nucademia I don't know how to pronounce that I love Roman lip tints so much they're like this one's like I think my favorite lip tint I've ever tried. I'm just going in with this Quo lip oil on top. <laughs> so pretty. So this is it for my Gary makeup look. I hope you like this look. It's something that is wearable for every day. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.